What's going on Smash Bros? Cyber Shaman here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the data miners and the 16 placeholder character slots that have been found in the world of light mode in Smash Bros Ultimate. Now we already know that Piranha Plant and Joker and a few other fighters are on the way, but not 16. And although of course this doesn't guarantee DLC and I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, could you fucking imagine if we had that many fighting passes coming with that many fighters? The internet would explode. The possibilities with that many characters would be would be really, really crazy. So I wanted to address this not only to make sure people don't get their hopes way too high, but to talk about the concept of what if we had that many fighters coming to the game and what it would really mean for what they could do going forward. Now past Smash Bros games have kind of always had to deal with the why aren't you adding my character? He was so great. He, why are you putting these new dumb characters when my own character is still stuck in the past? Well of course in Ultimate now we have every fighter that has ever been in the game and there's tons of characters in the game that people years ago thought would never happen. So I think if this is actually a DLC wave of 16 characters in total counting, you know, Joker and Piranha Plant already, that we'd start to see some indie characters and some picks that we really thought really would never happen. Now I'm not saying motherfucking Goku is going to get in the game. That I, I really don't think that's ever going to happen. You know, Goku is in a fighting game now. He's got multiple fighting games. He's got more video games <laughs> than lots of these characters in Smash Bros even do, but that he's an anime character. He's going to stay an anime character. Um but I think we are going to see indie characters and maybe some of the characters this is going to be controversial, but some of the characters that we saw as assist trophies. Now I know what you're thinking, and you're right, I agree with you, I don't think this is going to happen. This is just my only scenario where I really think 16 DLC characters can happen, so I'm going to have a little bit of fun throwing out this theory. Now there's two reasons why I think this theory has some plausibility, even if that plausibility is close to none. Number one, the assist trophies and their models look amazing. Some of the characters look so close to being playable characters that when people were leaking information about the game, they thought some of the characters like Black Knight and Bomberman that were assist trophies were actually playable characters. That's how close they look to being playable characters. And the second reason I mention this is because some of these assist trophies already have attack animations, they have run animations, and they have tons of, you know, unique animations that could be used again other than just for an item. Now, those are really my only two reasons, and I know they're not much to go off of, but I thought it'd also be kind of fun to talk about my top 10 assist trophy character choices if they were going to make assist trophies into characters. Now, when I was first looking at the list of all the assist trophies, I thought, hey, this would be easy. You know, there's tons of great characters in the assist trophy category, but that's actually kind of the issue. There's tons of characters that are assist trophies that really just would be perfect for fighters. And I think that's probably why assist trophies were made to begin with, so that these characters could be in the game in some way without being playable fighters. But nevertheless, here are my top 10 picks. Waluigi. Skull Kid. Shovel Knight. Samurai Goro, Crystal, Knuckles, Knuckle Joe, Dylan, Bomberman, Black Knight, Ashley. Wait a minute. Is that even 10? I don't know. I can't count. That's why I have YouTube count the views.